Cyrus McCormick was a man from Virginia, from the Shenandoah Valley, and he was a, just a born tinker. He came from his father, was a very prosperous farmer. They owned like 1,200 acres in the Shenandoah Valley. And he saw that the business of wheat, harvesting wheat is the critical moment that determines how much wheat you can grow because there's a very limited period of time after the wheat is ripe when you can harvest it. After that, it'll rot. And so he broke down all the steps in, in harvesting wheat, figured out how to do it mechanically, put it together into a machine that did the whole business behind horses. And whereas one man could harvest a, an acre of wheat by himself using a, a scythe, and that's apparently the origin of the acre, it was about how much one man could harvest in a day. With McCormick Reaper, you could harvest eight acres. And this machine, which at first the farmers looked at it and said, you know, does that thing go to the moon? I mean, I'm not buying one of those contraptions. But slowly it became successful, and then it became wildly successful. And in 1851, McCormick, by this time a rich man, took it to the great exposition in England where it was a sensation. And this had enormous effects. I mean, for one thing, it allowed the Midwest to start producing enormous amounts of wheat that could then be sold in commerce. But also, it freed up a lot of labor because, you know, you had eight acres. It used to take eight men to harvest it. Now it took one man, so the other seven could do something else. And the one thing it did was that it freed these people to go into industry, to become workers in, in industrial operations. And this made the Civil War possible because the farmers could still operate while the other men were off fighting the war. So what happened with McCormick's Reaper is, is um, very profound in how much it changed the, the country.